water harvesting system. So as you can see, this the terrace here is the catchment. Catchment means any surface which is there which can directly receive rainwater. And as you can see, the rainwater it flows through the conduit pipes into the tank. This, uh, the water is impure, but still we can use this water for agricultural purposes because there it's, as you know, rainwater itself is a natural resource, there's no other impurities other than dust particles. So anyways, this water can be used uh, for agricultural purposes and so we can divert part of it into the agricultural fields. And for other, for other domestic purposes, we need more clean water. So we, we can purify. transfer, we can purify it. So we use many purifying units. So the first one from this impure water tank, we transfer the, the water flows into the sedimentation tank. So here, the sedimentation of uh, solid particles like you know small stones or any is there uh, like soil particles or gets sedimented. It is made to sediment, and so that the water is free from the solid particles. And then that water, which is free from the solid particles, it is then passed on to the chlorination tank. As you know, in chlorination tanks, we add chlorine, and it, the water gets disinfected. And this water is collected in the pure water tank. And in pure, from this pure water tank, we can transfer it to the, for various household purposes. Like we, uh, through pipes, we can use it for washing, cleaning, and for gardening and outside. For gardening, we can use. And for all other domestic purposes, this water can be used. Even for cooking, we can use it because just, we just need to boil it. Because rainwater, after all, it's a natural resource. There's no other harm, no other dangerous uh, hazardous particles other than dust particles. So th through this purifying system, we are removing all those particles so that this water it can be even used for cooking purposes. And this is just a, just a small, very simple model. There are more complex steps are involved, like filtration tanks are there, and many sieves will be there through which the particles will be very finely refined and we get completely filtrated water. So this is this method is very effective because if for construction also it is very cheap. Any even an ordinary man they can um, they can afford this because they just need to construct the tanks. That's it. that is the one and just the just the uh, the effect the cost of production is very less, less for this. So that it is it is worth it. So especially in India here we don't have much rain so it's fine. But then back in India where we have abundant monsoon still in summer we face shortage of water. So for such for such problems, we are not effectively utilizing the monsoon we are getting. So, so for this, when the, when we have abundant rainfall, these can be stored. This rainwater can be stored and it can be used for various other like domestic purposes. So this we can conserve large amounts of water. As we know, now the water resources are getting depleted. Underground water it is getting depleted. So this is one of the best measure we can take for uh, conserving water.